Hi everyone and welcome back to another Weebly Wizard tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at some popular homepage layouts and some tips on how to make your homepage look more professional. Today there's two things we're going to focus on. Firstly um, is icons. As you can see here on my homepage, um, these little pictures that typically represent um, something that you're trying to say or, or a message or a call to action, um, they are icons on your page. Um, there's a number of uses for icons and um, in this instance here we've just used them to represent what type of video I have um, listed in uh, in this description. So there's a number of uses for them and um, typically I find that they're good for um, for get, getting a kind of a point across that you're finding difficult to capture in words or just to give another dimension to your homepage. So that's an example of icons on your homepage and I'll talk you through how I've um, set these up and why I've done it this way. Um, another thing you can do on your homepage to represent the message that you're trying to convey is um, is a kind of a tiny kind of scaled down banner. Now if I click through to this uh, website here, this is Voodoo, um, an events, uh, corporate events band in Melbourne, Australia. Um, the homepage here you can see um, very similar in concept, but instead of the icon, um, we've gone with the kind of uh, the small banner. Um, but how do you know the space and how do you know what size the banner should be, which is a good question. There's a number of tools I use to kind of get a scale or, or idea of um, number of pixels that I need to cover. Um, and the main tool I use, um, I've added just as a little kind of add-on or plug-in to my Chrome browser. And that's at the top here and it's called Measure It. Um, I'll right click, you can see there, measure it, exclamation mark. Very simple to install. But basically, if you click on this, it gives you a little crosshair and um, it gives you the ability to drag over any area of the website that you're on and it gives you a kind of a real time snapshot of the width and height in uh, in pixels. So in this instance, I kind of, I got the main homepage going and I said, right, I want to slot in a little banner here. So I'm going to measure over roughly where I want it and I know it's going to be about 275 in width um, and about 73 or 75 in height. Then I go into my um, software editing and um, kind of graphics solution and then I develop a little banner that goes into the kind of space. So very simple to do, um, relatively um, effective. As you can see here, um, instead of an icon, you can just kind of click on the um, click on the banner and it takes you through to that section of the website. So very useful um, and just adds another dimension to the homepage, a little bit different to icons. So the banners, they're typically very simple to, uh, simple to design um, as long as you have the dimensions and you know what kind of information you want to represent within that banner. It's relatively self-explanatory, but how do you come across the icons? Um, do you design them? Do you download them? Where can you get them from? all valid questions. In this instance here I purchased an icon set of around about a thousand icons and they cover everything, literally every theme you can imagine that you'd want to use on your website. If you don't have them um, or you don't have the money to buy them, there are um, there's kind of resources throughout the web that allow you to download them for free. Now if I draw your attention here to um, a website called WDL or Web Design Ledger, um, com. This is a fantastic resource for anybody who's designing websites or uh, any kind of design elements um, specifically for a website. As you can see here, they cover everything from, um, you know, kind of fresh free fonts. Um, they have tips on flex flexible um, web design, um, inspiring pages. At the top, they're all sectioned here, so inspiration, resources, tips, tools, and tutorials, and so forth. But um, quite often, they do feature free icons, and this here is... A, uh, a page they have available at the moment which uh, gives examples of 10 super useful free icon uh, font sets. Um, so basically they list them down the page and it's a case of you just scrolling down and kind of picking which ones you think will suit your website particularly well. Um, they tend to be a little bit limited if they're free. Um, the ones that you pay for um, I think are around about you know 20 to 50 um, US dollars depending on the quality and the number that you get. Um, they quite often come as a Photoshop editable file and a PNG. Um, remember the tutorial I covered on PNGs with the transparent background. So particularly useful for your website. They do vary in quality and, um, and the number that are included. But I, I recommend going in and, and having a look at some and just trying some out on your website. So for example, this, this Entypo um, icon set here um, immediately draws my eye. They're clean, they're crisp, they're not jet black, they're kind of a, a, a grey colour which is particularly useful and there's a number in here that I know would apply to websites that I design. So jump in, download the um, the free icon packs and give it a go. In this instance here on this website and a lot of other websites I design, um, I'll usually go with a two, three or a four element column setting um, and then um, within those I will slot my two, three or four 
um, areas that I'd like to cover. Typically with a header, my icon, and then a brief description. I'll usually um, justify everything centered and then a call to action, whether it be watch a video or click for more information or download the fact sheet or whatever it may be. There's a number of ways you can do this depending on how much information you want to represent here. You may go for a four or a five column layout. Um, it's entirely up to you and each website will of course be different. So just make sure that the layout and the justification of your text fits the theme of the website and it looks clean and um, it does the job for you. Um, so there's two ideas for your homepage. Um, homepage is it's a very important page of your website obviously and I do get a lot of questions around how can I make it look more visually appealing and how do I reduce my bounce rate which is um, the number of people that come on my website then immediately leave. Um, so it's really important that you keep them on your website and, and bring them through from the homepage to other areas of your website. So that's a couple of ideas for you. Obviously there are more like including um, more kind of um, image centric um, directions or videos or moving parts, whether it be HTML5 or, or Flash. Um, but there's a number of options there, just two that we've had a look at today. So feel free to jump in and, and give them a go. Like I say, Weebly is free. so. Um, Go in and make other websites, make test websites and play around with the HTML and play around with homepage layouts. I really encourage you to do that. The more you play around and the more you test, the better you'll become. Um, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button and we'll see you in the next video.